Before we get into your reading, I'd like to start by thanking everyone who has liked and commented on the videos, as well as subscribed and donated to my channel. I really appreciate it, you guys. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can find all of my contact information, including my email and social media links, as well as links to my music and podcast in the description below this video. Okay, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Leo at the foundation? All right, what are we going to take here? Okay, so Seven of Wands, Leo, that's your energy. And then High Priestess, Pisces energy at the sacral. So Leo, this Seven of Wands is an energy of pushback. This is an energy of you really standing up for yourself. It's an energy that can be seen as very defiant, right? All of a sudden you're standing up for yourself and people think you're being too defiant. It's an energy of perseverance. This is you standing up for yourself. You're taking control back over your life for the first time ever in this capacity. High Priestess at the sacral, this is you really trusting yourself, Leo. There's an emphasis on you really listening to your intuition right now, right at the sacral, which is all related to your optimism, your passion for life, creativity for some of you. After a time of feeling isolated and fearful about your environment, about anything it was that you were putting your passion into, it's like every step you would take, you were scared. It's like really weird. It's like almost like a fearful energy. This is what you're overcoming with this seven of wands at the foundation. So emphasis on your intuition right now, Leo, it's not going to steer you wrong. In fact, your intuition should be the only thing driving you right now through this season of whatever it is you're going through. Knight of Swords at the Solar Plexus, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You're moving through this energy quite quickly because I feel you're forward focused. You see the light at the end of the tunnel. Knight of Swords is one of the quickest moving energies in the deck. It's all about lifestyle changes. It's a very action oriented energy. This is somebody who's soldiering forward. It's also a very deliberate energy, meaning you don't need to contemplate too much. You just need to listen to your intuition. Aha, uh -huh. here we go, right? Intuition, when you listen to your intuition, you're more deliberate with your movements. You don't second guess yourself. Okay, so the high priest is paired with this knight of swords. To me, it's telling me that you need to move in a very deliberate manner. If you think something, do it. Don't second guess anything. And by God, Leo, do not listen to anybody's opinions of what you should be doing right now. What do we have at the heart? Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy at the heart. This is the energy of material strength. This is what you're heading towards. This is all a part of this light at the end of the tunnel, Leo. It's like you're moving into a space where you're taking control back over your life. Or like I said, for the first time in this capacity, really ever, I feel, this is like a, a new ascended version of yourself. This is you stepping into a new timeline. But when you put this sort of work into yourself, the universe sees you as a good investment, Okay, because they understand that where you're going, you can be of service in some capacity to the universe, the divine, the collective, and whatever it is you do. It's you stepping into the best version of yourself. And because of this, it naturally triggers the blessings from the universe, Ace of Pentacles energy. Now, blessings can show up. Yes, they can show up as money, material blessings, but they can also show up as other things. This can also be people that are brought onto your path to help you transition into the new point in your life. This could be intuitive ideas you get to build something that brings in some sort of material blessings for yourself. There's so many different versions of what this Ace of Pentacles can be. But at the end of the day, it is the energy of something coming your way. Something that will prove to be highly useful. And it's because you're allowing yourself to stay in this very compassionate, warm, and open energy. You're starting to understand the tides of life. You're starting to understand how things work. And rather than fighting against this and creating resistance in your own life and in the universe and the collective, you're going with the flow. You're allowing for these changes to take place, however painful some of them might be. You're just allowing it to all happen. What do we have at the throat? 
lovers, Gemini energy at the throat. And this is you aligning with your higher self, your masculine and feminine traits. This is an energy of harmony and balance. It's an energy of alignment. This is how you guide yourself to this energy, to this new timeline, is by aligning with your higher self, allowing your higher self to take the wheel. What do we have at the third eye? Seven of Pentacles at the third eye. Taurus energy. And this is an energy of patience. It's an energy of hard work. It's success. It's delayed. But it's a good kind of delayed. It's the delayed where instead of taking shortcuts, you're actually enjoying the journey. Or this is what you're being guided to do. Because a lot of the time... You find these blessings, these Ace of Pentacles, material blessings on the journey. So the Ace of Pentacles can also be a message that, Leo, if you go this way, you're going to get this idea. You're going to meet this person. You're going to come across this new opportunity. It's just an energy of you really starting to align with your higher self and your path in life. I really feel the energy of you getting closer to where you're supposed to be. Well, you're where you're supposed to be right now, Leo. But it's an energy of getting to where you're able to function inside of this space of being the best version of yourself you can possibly be. What do we have at the crown? Six of Swords, Aquarius, energy at the crown. Okay, so again, this goes along perfectly with what I'm saying here. It's an energy of transitioning on, moving. Some of you could be relocating. So... Seven of Pentacles, this is where the divine is trying to get you to this point, right? You're persevering forward. This is you reaping all the fruits for your labors in this patient kind of energy. So as long as you get to this energy here, you're where you're supposed to be. And this, Six of Swords at the Crown, this is the energy the divine wants you to move through this energy. The energy of moving on, transitioning on, leaving all of this behind. There's a lot of pushback in this reading, Leo, right at your foundation, trusting your intuition. For your Leos out there that are still dealing with this Seven of Wands energy at the foundation, you're all going to be on different paths. This is your message to get going. Six of Swords at the Crown. Yeah, it's time to move on from this. What do we have at the foundation, please? Nine of Wands, Sag Energy, Marco Sias, right underneath that Seven of Wands. So goes along perfectly with what we're picking up here. This is an energy of you persisting forward despite any of these setbacks. It's a very resilient energy. It's an energy of you keeping and maintaining boundaries with all of these individuals that are creating the Seven of Wands pushback in your life. Pushing forward. The divine using you as an example because you are a true test of faith. This is an energy of you aligning, Leo, with your higher self and getting these messages that the divine wants to use you in this capacity. They want to use you as an example of how this can be done. Leo, you have to understand, not a lot of people are able to do this. A very small percentage of the population of this planet is able to get through this energy, step out on faith and step into the life that they were always meant to have. So when somebody like you is willing to do this, the divine is going to put everything they have into you to get you through this energy you have to trust. And then once you're through this, they're going to set you up for the life you were always meant to have. And they're going to use you as an example of how it's done. And Leo, I'm not just saying this. I speak from experience. I went through horrendous struggles to be where I am right now. Similar energy to the energy I'm looking at on this table right here. And I do have a Leo moon, so I do resonate with this in some capacity. But right now I'm speaking to Leos that have yet to push through this energy or are in the middle of pushing through this energy or well, some of you could be on the other side of this. Everybody's going to be on all different journeys here. But this is the energy that's available to you. What do we have at the sacral? Death. Lucifer. At the sacral. Scorpio energy. This is an energy that wants to create stagnation in your life. This energy that you're having these intuitive hits around. The people around you that you're starting to look at kind of like, I do you even... 
have my best interest in mind? Do you even want to see me live the best life possible? What is it about you? Why do you want me to be stuck in life? Because from where I'm standing, it seems like you're creating a lot of pushback in my life. Right? This is somebody who paints themselves like a sweet little cherub, Leo. But when they go home, they peel off that little cherub suit and there's a huge leviathan standing there. And then they prop themselves down on their pile of skulls. Right? It's somebody who is not who they appear to be. Make no mistake, this is the demon in your life. Parents, siblings, family members, exes, co-workers, whoever this is creating the resistance in your life, creating a roadblock between you and your highest happiness, that is the demon in your life, Leo. And you need to go directly through them by standing in your power. This is how you defeat this energy, by standing in in your power. And when I say go directly through them, this isn't you facing off with that energy. You standing in your power dissolves them because they're feeding off of you for your high vibrational energy. They just start to dissipate into the ethers. They become insignificant in your life. They are no longer a roadblock when you don't allow them, Nine of Wands energy at the foundation, into your life. When you don't give them an audience, when you don't give them the power to affect you any longer. This is what defeats them. What do we have at this solar plexus, please? Eight of Swords, Falkalor. It says right there, can sink ships. That's what's really sticking out to me. Kills by drowning can sink ships, right? Eight of Swords, Gemini, energy at the solar plexus. Leo, this is you releasing yourself now from this energy, bringing freedom into your life. Seeing how to entertain these energies any longer would be you putting yourself in a self-imposed restriction. It's like self-imposed mental imprisonment just by entertaining them. I know this energy so well. You know, these are the people that you know you shouldn't communicate with. And then you're like, okay, well, I guess I'll try and have a conversation with them. And then you have a conversation with them. They waste about three hours of your time with some useless psychobabble. Three hours you can't get back, let's say on the phone or something. Maybe it's a parent, right, or a close friend or a sibling. And you get off the phone with them and you're like, I, I knew I shouldn't have spoken to that person. I feel horrible now. I'm riddled with anxiety. I need to take a nap. You know, who knows if I can even make it to work tomorrow, right? These kind of people who can affect your energy this way. Do not entertain these energies any longer, Leo. To do so would be you putting yourself in a mental imprisonment. Move away from these energies, Knight of Swords at the solar plexus. What do we have at the heart, please? Too many cards. Heart position. Crow cell. Sag energy at the heart. Ego and hate. This is an energy of imbalance, conflicts, disruptive energy. It's an energy of chaos. Exactly what I just said here. Bringing chaos into your life, but you actually opening the door to this chaos. Because you're so used to it. And there's something inside of you, Leo, where you think, oh, maybe, maybe they'll be different this time. Maybe they learned a lesson. No, Leo, you don't understand. They're polarized. This is who they are. They're programmed to do this to you. They will never change. Chances are, Leo, there's very few people in your auric environment, otherwise known as your energetic space, that are for you, if any at all. Pay attention to your intuition around who these individuals are. The divine has shown you very clearly right now which way you're supposed to be going. And then we have Vehuel, grandeur, which is the Eight of Wands from the Angel Tarot. This is an energy of action and change. Very quick action and change right underneath this Ace of Pentacles. The Divine literally telling you, Leo, you need to get out of here. You need to go this way that we're telling you to go. We're going to take care of you, but we need to get you to safety first before we can start bringing the opportunities into your life. We need to make sure that these opportunities we bring into your life are safe and that these individuals won't try and take them from you. These individuals want to bring delays, problems into your life so you're not able to harness this new energy, not able to step into this new timeline. 
What do we have at the throat? Too many cards. What do we have at the throat? The moon at the throat. Gabriel. Cancer energy. Again, Leo, you need to trust your intuition. We have both of the intuition cards on the table. High priestess and moon here. God is my strength. Divine revelation reveals messages, has the power to destroy. All your steps are divinely guided right now, Leo. You must trust your intuition. What do we have at the third eye? King of Wands, Daniel at the third eye. God, the merciful judge, eloquence, gives answers to those in doubt. This is a very courageous, charming, powerful energy. This is somebody who takes leadership over their life, and they're using their intuition at the third eye to do so, seeing their way forward, trusting themselves. Who better to trust than yourself and your intuition, Leo? God speaks to you through your intuition. Your intuition is the information highway between you and the divine. There's no one else, Leo, that can tell you better. King of Wands is also representative of Leo energy. Aries, Leo, Sag, energy, fire, energy. This is you in your power. What do we have at the crown? Two of Wands, Aries, energy. The helping God, love and wisdom, victory over those who would attack you. This is an energy of making plans, Leo. Progressing forward. It's an energy of strength. It's an energy of success. It's an energy of your personal power, Leo. Leo, this is the energy that's available to you should you choose to accept. I'm going to go ahead and leave your reading there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like a personal reading. All that information could be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, Leo. Take care.